Welcome back to C-Sharp Cult. In our last episode, we focused on building our author and genre repository. Today, we're creating the book repository and the form to add new books. By the end of this video, we'll be able to add, display, update, or delete all the books saved in our database. So let's dive right in. Let's start by creating the book repository. We're going to copy and paste from the author repository, and then we're going to change the methods as needed. When retrieving the books, we want to include their associated authors and genre. In update book async, we take an updated book as a parameter. Then we find the original book in the database and update its properties with the new value. Then save the changes. Note how we're clearing and re-adding the genres. This will make sure that the genres are correctly updated. Now let's create the add book form. We start by pasting the add author form into our add book form. Then we're going to replace the author properties by the book property. To do that, we're going to copy the properties from the book entity and paste it as common in our form. So we can keep track on which properties we added and which one we didn't yet. To choose an author, we've created a drop down and to populate the drop down option, we need to look through the authors list. For general selection, I use checkboxes. Each checkbox will be tied to a genre. Checking or unchecking a box triggers the handle check change method that we're gonna create in a second. In the code section, we're gonna instantiate a book, a list of authors, a list of genre, and a list of book genre. Then inside the on initialize async method that runs when the page is initialized, we're gonna populate the authors and genres list using their respective repositories. Then we're gonna populate our select author dropdown with the list of authors and our genre checkboxes with our list of genres. Next, we will create the handle check change. This method adds or removes the corresponding genre to our book's genre lists based on whether the checkbox is checked or not. Now, before testing, we're going to go to the manage books page and add a table in order to display all the books saved into our database. To do that, we need to initialize first a new list of books and then on the uninitialized async method, we're going to populate it using the book repository. Now that we have the list of books, we can loop through each book and populate our table rows. And now let's test it. Let's add a new book, give it a title, an author, and all the other properties. It throws an error when I check the genre, and I found a problem. We need to initialize the book genre list outside the scope of the method. Let's try again. Now it is working. Victory. Let's make the page looks beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's add another book. It's fun to add books. Another one. Now, clicking on the delete and update button does nothing. Let's create the methods to make them do what they claim to be doing. Now the delete method is a simple one. We're just going to delete the book using the repository, the book repository. Let's test it and you can see that it is working. The book was deleted. Victory. Now for the update book method, in order to update a specific book, we need its ID. Now the update book method is going to send us to the update book page, but also it is going to include the ID of the book we want to pass. Now in the receiver page, in our case, the update book page, we define the root template with a parameter and create a property to capture the past ID. Now when you click on the update button on the sender page, you will navigate to the receiver page with the ID included in the URL. Now let's create our update book page and because it is similar to add book page, we're just going to copy and paste from there and change what needs to be changed. This time we're going to need to load the book we want to update from the database using the ID passed in to the root parameter. Then we're going to need to change the save book async to update book async and it is important to not initialize the updated book to a new book after updating it because this will cause an error. Now let's move on to the form. Here we basically just gonna change created book with updated book but also we need to do some other changes. In the book genre we need to determine whether the checkbox is going to be selected or not for each genre and to do that we use the any method that are going to check if there is any item in the updated book that book genre list where the genre id matches the id of the current genre. If there is the checkbox is going to be checked if not it's going to be unchecked. Let's test it. 
Let's fix the picture. And add a semicolon at the end of each genre. And as you can see, when I change something here and save, the book gets updated. And that's it for this episode. We successfully created the book repository, made our own form to add new books, and updated our manage books page for better functionality. We're not stopping here. There's still so much more to explore and learn together. In the next episode, we'll be continuing our journey, expanding our bookstore application. Thank you for joining us. And as always, if you have any questions or need further clarification, don't hesitate to drop a comment. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. Stay curious, keep coding, and stay tuned.